This is a video walkthrough of the Pemberton Elite 28 by 12 two bed from 2004. It's got double glazing and electric panel heaters and it's priced at 9995. You join me here as we're in the living room area. I'm going to have a quick look around the place and show you a bit of the layout. Looking across the sofa here, you can see uh, you've got a fitted seating area along the front window and then around the offside there, forming up then to the dining area, all the same fitted um, sofa um, upholstery. Upholstery is all fine. Um, the the left hand side is sagging a bit because the board underneath it is broken, so that needs um, excuse me replacing. But there's no major rips or tears or stains on the upholstery. Got a freestanding dining table with a couple of stools. There's two exterior doors for the caravan: one that enters to my right hand side there, and then one that enters further back up the hallway. But opposite us here, you can see you've got um, gas fire there with some. Um, cupboard storage around and drawers and a place to put the TV. There is some delamination in the caravan as is often the case as an example the door here and the drawer over here. There's a couple that have gone a little bit um, and then others that are actually okay. So they're not all gone um, but I'm not going to point out every single one because these ones like I say above the fire here Actually, they're all okay, but the ones beside uh, were a little bit um, flappy there, so uh, it's just something you get with these caravans, unfortunately. Um, gas fire has seen better days, and it's quite rusty. The grill is rusty, and the, the sort of black front is a little bit rusty. Um, we might be able to tidy that up a little bit. I'm going to have to have a look. Um, carpet in here, it's okay. There are a few marks on it. Um, it's a very light carpet, so to keep that clean is um, a bit of a mission couple of stains on it as you approach the kitchen could do with a new one to be honest but equally at the same time if you wanted to just leave it as it is and get on with it then um, you know certainly not sort of offensive and um, kitchen area here then so it's set back a little bit from the living area um, by this partition wall so you have got the walkway through which does keep it a little bit open plan but it is set back a bit so um, keeps it a bit separate from the living area um, got the gas oven, you've got cupboard storage around um, the sink and around the oven and then we've got space, um, we have a fridge freezer here on my left hand side one of the doors up there is a little bit um, worse there probably been above the kettle or microwave which has given off a bit of steam and things and made it a little bit worse than some of the other ones coming through um, the kitchen then to the back of the caravan we've got a main bedroom which has got storage above the bed there it's a good size main bedroom actually for a 2812 which tend to have a little bit smaller bedroom good size bedroom and good size wardrobe cupboards as you can see lots of wardrobe space got an electric panel heater under the window uh, that window is on the off side of the caravan coming back up to the hallway on our right hand side you can see a twin room two single beds there um, same style storage above the bed and at the foot there with the wardrobe and drawers and the electric panel heater. No issues with delamination with the cupboard doors at the back of the caravan in the bedroom because they're made differently. Um, so there's no delamination on those. It's just the uh, living and dining ones. And then you've got our bathroom here with toilet, sink and shower. Shower door is a little bit narrow. Uh, it's about shoulder width, but it then opens up into a bigger shower enclosure as you can see. So um, you go all the way to the wall there with the actual shower. It's just that the door is a bit narrower. That's what you often find with caravans of this sort of age. Then you've got electric panel heater on the left-hand side there as well. So in all, we've got a double glazed and um, electric panel heated caravan, which is in quite decent condition. Bit of delamination on the cupboards, carpet that's sort of seen better days, but it's certainly not the worst I've seen. Um, quite clean and tidy apart from that really um, throughout. So um, it's a decent size caravan, 2812. You sometimes get a smaller pitch um, in your garden or whatever that, that can only take a smaller caravan. Or you might just not want to take up too much space and looking for something that's also got that double glazing. So um, it's good from that point of view. But we're going to have a jump around now outside and have a look at the condition there. It's the outside of the caravan. Front is quite tidy. Got an old rusty aerial bracket on the side there, some clips that just needs taken off. Tidy up the panel a bit, but there's no significant damage. Panel peeling away a little bit at the bottom here. Um, just needs some extra screws putting in. The timbers are all there, just that flaps just come away on the edge there, so that's all easy to sort. Um, heading around the back of the caravan. 
Um, a couple of rusty holes and things to fill where they've got screws missing or um, regulators being taken off or something like that, but no significant damage anywhere. Coming down the door side, it all needs a good wash, but no, it's pretty free of any damage on the outside. Anything significant to point out, so that's good. Dropping down to look at the chassis. Standard painted chassis, but as you can see, very solid. No issues with the chassis there. So that's been the Pemberton Elite. 28 by 12, two bed from 2004, double glazed electric panel heaters priced at 9995.